Welcome to Baller or Bust, where we test FIFA cards so you don't have to. Today, we've got ourselves Team of the Season nominee, Payet. He doesn't have as good of a dynamic as he did on his Winter Wild cards, but if you know about that card, you know that card was absolutely insane. And this one's like a plus four maybe, or plus three, I don't know. But if you just look at the stats quick, we got five star skills, four star weak foot. He's got 92 acceleration and 90 sprint speed, so he's super quick. 90 agility, 84 balance, nothing special there, but he does have 93 dribbling and 92 composure, which is huge, really good composure. Shooting, he's got 95 shot power and 90 finishing and 95 positioning. He does make really good runs in game. Physically, he's got 93 strength. I mean, what more could you ask for from, a, from an attacker? And then passing, he's just got normal passing stats. Nothing crazy. This is the squad we used him in. We actually used a 4-2-3-1 in game. We played him at central attacking mid in like the central cam spot. And we tried him out at striker for a couple games. Uh, he's super versatile. He was able to excel in both of those positions. So I didn't really notice a difference. Um, you know, with some cards, it feels like if they need a couple games to adjust, that was not the situation for Payet. He adjusted the squad right away. He was super easy to fit in and a super good card. We'll start off with his pace. I mean, it's good. He's definitely got good pace. He's got the physicality where, like, even if he gets caught up to, he can usually hold up and be fine. So there's nothing to complain about with the pace. Honestly, I used a Hunter to boost that pace. And with the Hunter, it gave him 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. So there's not much more you could ask for out of him. Shooting. The shooting was actually one of his worst areas at the start. It was a little bit weird getting used to. His weak foot didn't feel that good. Kind of felt like a three star. But once you start using the outside the boot trait, shooting it cross body, he's really good. His finesse was actually decent too. He doesn't have finesse trait, but his finesse shot wasn't bad. You'll see that he had a, he had a long shot finesse shot in this game. Not in this game, in this in this video. So his shooting just takes a little bit of adjustment. His left foot shooting wasn't great for me, but his right foot shooting is really good. Passing, uh, he's actually a pretty good playmaker. I played him at central cam, used him for a couple through balls. Short passing was obviously fine. I think he's gonna through ball it here, right to Mbappe, great pass. Ends up getting the assist. But yeah, in terms of passing, nothing amazing. You know, not like pure low level or nothing like that, but not bad at all. Definitely is good enough to play the through balls. Definitely is good enough to be an attacking midfielder. Dribbling. This is where he gets crazy. His dribbling is absolutely insane. If you guys have been playing video for a long time, you know some players just have that sticky. It's not an actual thing, but the sticky is just like their stats are combined in a way where they're just extremely good at dribbling and extremely hard to get the ball off of. He's got the sticky. Because of the mix between his physical and his dribbling stats and his body type, because he's got a stocky body, it's impossible to get the ball off of him sometimes. In some of these clips, you just got two guys trying to push him off the ball. It doesn't work. He's too physical. He's got two good dribbling stats. He just doesn't lose the ball with the left stick dribbling, which makes him so OP in the box. With five-star skills, too, if you know how to skill, oh, my, you could be so dangerous with this card. Defending, obviously, he's only got 49 defending. He's not going to do too much defensively. He's strong. He's got good physicality, so he can, like, if you're getting high-pressed, if he has the ball, He's going to hold it. He's going to be able to make a play with it. So that's the positive side of, of his physicality. If, if you have him on a, as a comeback, comeback on defense, attacking mid. And then his physicality, we've kind of been talking about this entire time. It's absolutely unreal. He's super hard to get the ball off of. He does have 86 stamina, which is a little bit low if you're using him as a, you know, get back on defense, make a run kind of guy, which is what a lot of attacking mids are in like a 4-2-3-1. But yeah, that being said, he's just absolutely unreal. His finishing is really good in the box once he gets the ball on that right foot. I haven't really used his left foot too much because I was like, I took a couple shots with his left foot and it was pretty weak. So I was like, all right, let me just use his right. So I've only been using his right. Maybe I'll try his left foot a little bit more. I'm definitely going to use this card as like a consistent card on my team. He was like better than Road to the Final Martial for me. You know, just a really good attacking mid. I don't know if he's better than Golden Bobby, but he does have that. He's a different type of player, you know, but yeah. All that being said, this card is absolutely unreal. You have to get it. I know there's an 85 times 10, but compared to what you could get and this card, I think this card is a lot better. You might just get gold cards out of the 85 times 10. So, that being all said, this guy is definitely 